The United States Air Force has once again demonstrated its dominance in aerial warfare with cutting-edge fighter jets that leave adversaries in awe. These sleek, powerful aircraft are packed with state-of-the-art technology, pushing the boundaries of innovation. But which of these incredible planes truly stands out in their fleet? And can China match the United States Air Force's prowess anytime soon? Join us as, finally, the U.S. Air Force is ready to shock Sheena with its new fighter jets. Next Generation Air Dominance Program the Next Generation Air Dominance Program represents a significant leap forward in United States Air Force capabilities. Initiated in 2014, this ambitious project aims to develop approximately 206th generation fighters, each with a price tag in the hundreds of millions of dollars. NGAD is not just about a single aircraft, but rather a family of systems. This comprehensive approach includes the development of a new fighter jet, known as the FX, or Penetrating Counter-Air, as well as supporting technologies and systems. One key component is the Collaborative Combat Aircraft, also called the Loyal Wingman. These advanced drones are designed to work alongside manned aircraft, expanding their capabilities and providing crucial support in combat situations. The program's scope extends beyond aircraft development. It encompasses work on advanced weapons systems, including hypersonic missiles, cutting-edge sensors, and improved avionics. Another critical aspect of NGAD is the development of advanced adaptive cycle engines. These are being created through the Adaptive Engine Transition Program and Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion Initiatives. These new engines promise improved performance and efficiency, with the first flight-ready versions expected as early as 2025. The timeline for the FX fighter itself points to an operational date of around 2030 to 2031, according to Air Force officials. This places the NGAD program at the forefront of global fighter jet development, potentially giving the United States a significant technological edge over competitors. The NGAD program represents a holistic approach to air dominance. It's not just about creating a faster or stealthier plane, but about developing an entire ecosystem of advanced technologies that work together seamlessly. This includes networking capabilities that allow for better communication and coordination between various air platforms, creating a more integrated and effective fighting force. Collaborative Combat Aircraft and Loyal Wingman the Collaborative Combat Aircraft, also known as the Loyal Wingman, is a revolutionary concept in military aviation. This advanced drone system is designed to work alongside manned aircraft, significantly expanding their capabilities and providing crucial support in combat situations. CCAs represent a shift in how air warfare is conducted. These unmanned aircraft are not just simple drones, but highly sophisticated machines capable of operating semi-autonomously. They can be controlled by pilots in nearby manned aircraft or potentially by ground operators, adding a new dimension to air combat tactics. One of the key advantages of CCAs is their ability to take on high-risk missions without putting human pilots in danger. They can be used for reconnaissance in heavily defended areas, act as decoys to draw enemy fire, or carry additional weapons to extend the striking power of manned fighters. The integration of CCAs with manned aircraft creates a force multiplier effect. A single piloted fighter jet could potentially control multiple CCAs, dramatically increasing its combat effectiveness. This concept allows for more flexible and adaptable combat formations, capable of responding to a wide range of threats and scenarios. CCAs are expected to be equipped with advanced sensors and communication systems, allowing them to gather and share crucial battlefield information. This capability enhances situational awareness for human pilots and commanders, enabling better decision-making in complex combat environments. 
Another significant aspect of CCAs is their potential for rapid technological upgrades. As unmanned systems, they can be more easily updated with new software, sensors, or weapons systems compared to manned aircraft. This flexibility ensures that CCAs can stay at the cutting edge of technology throughout their operational life. The development of CCAs also presents new challenges in terms of human-machine interaction and artificial intelligence. Pilots will need to be trained to effectively control and coordinate with these unmanned wingmen, requiring new skills and tactics. While the exact specifications of CCAs are still classified, they are expected to incorporate stealth technology, making them difficult for enemy forces to detect and track. This stealth capability, combined with their unmanned nature, makes them ideal for penetrating heavily defended airspace. The CCA concept is not unique to the United States. Other nations, including Australia and the United Kingdom, are also developing similar systems, indicating a global shift towards this new form of air warfare. Advanced Technologies for NGAD the Next Generation Air Dominance Program is pushing the boundaries of aviation technology. Beyond the aircraft themselves, NGAD is developing a suite of advanced technologies that will redefine air combat capabilities. One key focus is on powerful weapons systems, particularly hypersonic missiles. These ultra-fast weapons can travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, making them extremely difficult to intercept. Their integration into NGAD fighters will significantly enhance strike capabilities and strategic deterrence. Sensor technology is another critical area of development. Advanced sensors will provide NGAD aircraft with unprecedented situational awareness, allowing pilots to detect and track threats from greater distances and with higher accuracy. These sensors will likely incorporate cutting-edge technologies such as quantum sensing and advanced electromagnetic spectrum analysis. The introduction of artificial intelligence into NGAD systems is a game-changer. AI will assist pilots in decision-making, manage complex data streams, and potentially control autonomous systems like CCAs. This integration of AI is expected to dramatically improve reaction times and tactical effectiveness in combat situations. Networking and battle management suites are being developed to create a highly interconnected air combat ecosystem. These systems will allow NGAD aircraft to share information seamlessly, coordinate actions, and adapt quickly to changing battlefield conditions. While the United States is making significant strides with NGAD, China is not far behind in the race for air superiority. China's plans for sixth-generation fighters share many similarities with the American approach. Chinese specialists are heavily focusing on the use of AI to control fighter systems and provide direct assistance to pilots in emergencies. China is also working on regularly improved software and avionics to integrate all air platforms into a single digital hub. This approach mirrors the United States' strategy of creating a highly networked air combat system. Additionally, China is developing its own version of swarming drones, indicating a parallel focus on unmanned combat aerial vehicles. Chinese aerospace companies have already showcased renderings and mock-ups of future stealth, tailless fighters at various air shows. These designs suggest that China is pursuing similar stealth and aerodynamic concepts as those being developed for NGAD. As these next-generation fighters take shape, the United States Air Force is preparing to bid farewell to one of its most iconic aircraft, the F-22 Raptor. Plans are in place to retire the F-22 fleet by 2031, coinciding with the expected introduction of NGAD fighters. Its retirement will mark the end of an era in military aviation and underscore the rapid pace of technological advancement in fighter aircraft design. F-35 Lightning II Versatility and Popularity The F-35 Lightning II has emerged as a versatile and highly sought-after fighter jet, quickly becoming a cornerstone of modern air forces worldwide. Unlike its predecessor, the F-22 Raptor, the F-35 was designed with multiple roles in mind, 
capable of air superiority missions as well as ground attack operations. One of the F-35's key strengths is its adaptability across different branches of the military. The aircraft comes in three variants. The F-35A for conventional takeoff and landing, the F-35B for short takeoff and vertical landing, and the F-35C for carrier operations. This flexibility allows it to serve the needs of the Air Force, Marine Corps, and Navy, streamlining logistics and maintenance across services. The fighter's popularity extends beyond United States borders, with many allied nations participating in the Joint Strike Fighter Program. This international collaboration has made the F-35 a common platform among NATO members and other United States allies, fostering interoperability and shared tactical advantages. A significant aspect of the F-35's design is its advanced sensor fusion and networking capabilities. The aircraft acts as a flying sensor node, collecting and distributing vast amounts of data to other platforms, enhancing overall battlefield awareness. This feature transforms the F-35 from a mere fighter jet into a key component of a larger interconnected combat system. Despite facing challenges during its development, including software issues and cost overruns, the F-35 program has persevered. As of 2022, Lockheed Martin announced the assembly of the 1000th F-35, highlighting the aircraft's production success and growing global fleet. The F-35's combination of stealth, advanced avionics, and multi-role capabilities positions it as a critical asset for Air Forces well into the future, with plans for its operation extending potentially to 2070. Yeah, so what you see here is the A-model Air Force variant, uh, conventional takeoff on land, just like a normal airplane. F-35 design and stealth features. The F-35 Lightning II's design is a masterclass in modern stealth technology. Its shape and materials are carefully engineered to minimize its radar cross-section, making it extremely difficult for enemy radar systems to detect. The aircraft's stealth features include carefully leveled edges and serrated skin panels. These design elements help scatter radar waves, reducing the jet's visibility to radar systems. The engine and turbine surfaces are also masked to prevent them from creating easily detectable radar signatures. Learning from the F-22 Raptor's experience, the F-35's designers made significant improvements in the aircraft's stealth coating. The Lightning II's absorbent fiber mat skin is more durable and requires less maintenance than its predecessor, addressing a key concern in stealth aircraft operation. To maintain its stealthy profile, the F-35 is equipped with two internal weapons bays. These compartments allow the aircraft to carry armaments without compromising its radar-evading shape. The bays can accommodate four combat modules, housing a variety of weapons including air-to-air -air missiles and precision-guided bombs. The F-35's stealth capabilities are not just about avoiding detection. They're integral to the aircraft's overall combat strategy, allowing it to penetrate heavily defended airspace and engage targets before being detected. This ability to operate in contested environments is crucial for modern air warfare scenarios. Importantly, the F-35's design also considers maintenance efficiency. Approximately 95% of the parts that are replaced in the field are one deep meaning they can be accessed and replaced without removing other components. This design philosophy significantly reduces maintenance time and complexity, enhancing the aircraft's operational readiness. The combination of advanced stealth features and practical design considerations makes the F-35 a formidable and efficient combat aircraft, capable of operating effectively in highly challenging environments. F-35 Weapons and Maintenance The F-35 Lightning II boasts an impressive and diverse weapons arsenal, making it a truly multi-role fighter. Its internal weapons bays can accommodate a wide range of munitions, allowing the aircraft to adapt to various mission types without compromising its stealth profile. The F-35's arsenal includes air-to-air -air missiles for dogfighting and intercepting enemy aircraft. For ground attack missions, it can carry joint direct attack munition air-to-surface weapons, 
which are GPS-guided bombs known for their precision. The aircraft is also capable of deploying paveway laser-guided bombs and joint standoff weapons for striking targets from a distance. In addition to these conventional weapons, the F-35 can carry cluster munitions for area denial operations. For precision strikes against armored targets, it's equipped with small diameter bombs like the GBU-39 and GBU-53B SDB-2I. The fighter can also deploy anti-tank Spear-3 missiles, further enhancing its ground attack capabilities. This versatile weapons loadout allows the F-35 to switch between air superiority and ground attack roles seamlessly, often within the same mission. This flexibility is a key factor in the aircraft's growing popularity among air forces worldwide. The emphasis on efficient maintenance extends to the F-35's software systems as well. The aircraft's modular design allows for easier upgrades and updates to its complex avionics and mission systems, ensuring it can adapt to new threats and incorporate improved technologies throughout its service life. F-22, Raptor preparing for retirement. The F-22 Raptor, a legendary aircraft in the United States Air Force's fleet, is preparing for its final chapter. After serving as the benchmark for fifth-generation fighters worldwide, the Air Force plans to retire the F-22 by 2031, coinciding with the expected introduction of next-generation aircraft from the NGAD program. Since its first flight in 1997, the F-22 has been a cornerstone of United States air superiority. Its combination of stealth, supercruise capability, and advanced avionics set new standards in air combat. The Raptor's exclusive use by the United States Air Force, due to export restrictions to protect its classified technologies, has made it a unique asset in the American arsenal. Despite its impending retirement, the F-22 continues to receive upgrades to maintain its combat effectiveness. These improvements demonstrate the aircraft's adaptability and the Air Force's commitment to maximizing its capabilities until the very end of its service life. The decision to retire the F-22 reflects the rapid pace of technological advancement in military aviation. As new threats emerge and technologies evolve, even highly advanced aircraft like the Raptor eventually reach a point where replacement becomes necessary to maintain air superiority. The F-22's retirement will mark the end of an era in military aviation history. Its legacy will live on in the lessons learned from its development, operation, and maintenance, which are already informing the design of future fighter aircraft. As the Raptor prepares to bow out, it leaves behind a remarkable record of service. Its final years will likely see it continue to play a crucial role in United States air defense and combat operations, while also serving as a bridge to the next generation of air dominance fighters. The transition from the F-22 to its successor will be a significant moment in the evolution of air warfare capabilities. F-22 Upgrades and Improvements Throughout its service life, the F-22 Raptor has undergone numerous upgrades to maintain its technological edge. These improvements have touched on various aspects of the aircraft, from its weapon systems to its avionics and software. One significant upgrade was the integration of new munitions families. The F-22 can now carry and deploy joint direct attack munitions and small diameter bombs, enhancing its ground attack capabilities. In air-to-air -air combat, the Raptor has been equipped with advanced short-range AM-9X and medium-range AM-120D missiles, keeping it at the forefront of aerial warfare. The F-22's radar system has also seen improvements. The installation of the enhanced AN-APG-77V1 radar has increased the aircraft's detection and tracking capabilities, allowing it to engage threats from greater distances and with improved accuracy. Software updates have been a crucial part of the F-22's evolution. These updates have enhanced the jet's overall performance and introduced new features. For instance, the Automatic Ground Collision Avoidance System was added in 2016, significantly improving pilot safety during low-altitude operations. 
In 2021, the F-22 received the Multifunctional Information Distribution System Joint Tactical Radio System. This upgrade improved the Raptor's communication and data sharing capabilities, allowing for better integration with other aircraft and ground units. Some upgrades are still in development and are expected to be implemented before the F-22's retirement in 2031. These include new sensors and antennas, as well as an advanced infrared search and track system. Additionally, a tougher chrome-like finish is being developed to enhance the Raptor's stealth characteristics further. Chengdu J-20, China's Stealth Fighter The Chengdu J-20, China's first operational stealth fighter, represents a significant leap in the country's aerospace capabilities. As China's answer to fifth-generation fighters like the F-22 and F-35, the J-20 showcases the nation's growing technological prowess in military aviation. One of the J-20's most distinctive features is its size. The Chinese fighter appears slightly larger than both the F-22 and F-35, giving it a commanding presence in the sky. This larger frame potentially allows for greater fuel capacity and internal weapons storage, though exact specifications remain classified. The J-20 employs a unique aerodynamic design, featuring a canard delta wing configuration. This setup, with small forewings near the nose of the aircraft, is intended to optimize airflow and enhance maneuverability. While different from the approach taken by American stealth fighters, this design choice reflects China's independent path in fighter development. Despite its unique elements, the J-20's overall shape bears some resemblance to the F-22, particularly in its fuselage design. And it's, it's going to be a watershed mark in the design of airplanes. It's the introduction of stealth technology to fighters. The Chinese fighter features a blended curved body exterior and twin engine exhausts, suggesting possible influence from or convergent evolution with American stealth technology. The J-20's development marks China's entry into the elite club of nations capable of producing stealth fighters. This achievement underscores the country's ambition to modernize its air force. Having flown this now for about a year and a half, I'll tell you, I enjoy flying this aircraft out of all three of them much, much better. And challenge the United States' air superiority in the Asia-Pacific region. While the exact capabilities of the J-20 remain a subject of speculation in the West, its mere existence has altered the strategic calculus in the region. The fighter's potential to penetrate air defenses and conduct long-range strikes makes it a significant factor in any future conflict scenarios involving China. Comparison of F-22, F-35, and J-20 When comparing the F-22 Raptor, F-35 Lightning II, and China's J-20, we see three distinct approaches to fifth-generation fighter design, each with its own strengths and focus areas. The F-22 Raptor excels in air superiority missions. Its standout feature is the ability to not only reach supercruise speed, but maintain it without using afterburners. This capability gives the F-22 a significant advantage in terms of speed and fuel efficiency during high-speed operations. The F-35, while also stealthy, is designed as a multi-role fighter with a strong focus on ground attack capabilities. Its advanced sensor fusion and networking abilities make it a potent information hub in modern network-centric warfare. The J-20, China's contender, appears to blend elements from both American fighters. Its larger size suggests a focus on long-range operations and potentially larger internal weapon bays. However, the J-20's exact capabilities, particularly in terms of engine performance, remain somewhat unclear to Western observers. A key area of competition is engine technology. The F-22's Pratt & Whitney F-119 engine is a benchmark in fighter jet propulsion. China has been working on its advanced engine, the WS-15, for the J-20. In March 2022, Chinese state media announced successful tests of the WS-15, claiming significantly improved performance, though specific details were not provided. 
In terms of numbers, China has reportedly built between 150 to 200 J-20s. The United States, meanwhile, has a fleet of 187 operational F-22 Raptors and approximately 450 F-35 Lightning IIs across various models. Each aircraft represents the pinnacle of its nation's aerospace technology and strategic priorities. As these aircraft continue to evolve, they will play crucial roles in shaping the future of aerial warfare and geopolitical power dynamics. China's Sixth-Generation Fighter Plans China's plans for sixth-generation fighter development closely mirror those of the United States, showcasing the country's ambition to remain at the forefront of military aviation technology. This next leap in fighter design is expected to push the boundaries of what's currently possible in aerial warfare. A key focus of China's sixth-generation fighter program is the extensive use of artificial intelligence. Chinese specialists are working to integrate AI systems that can control various fighter systems and provide direct assistance to pilots in emergencies. This approach aims to reduce pilot workload and enhance decision-making speed in complex combat scenarios. Another critical aspect of China's plans is the development of advanced software and avionics. The goal is to create a single digital hub that integrates all air platforms, allowing for seamless communication and coordination between different aircraft and ground systems. This networked approach mirrors the concept of a combat cloud being pursued by Western Air Forces. China is also investing heavily in the development of swarming drone technology. These autonomous unmanned aerial vehicles are expected to work in conjunction with manned fighters, potentially acting as force multipliers in combat situations. Chinese aerospace companies have already begun showcasing conceptual designs for their future fighters. At various air shows and in promotional videos, they have presented renderings and mock-ups of stealth, tailless fighter designs. These early glimpses suggest that China is exploring radical new airframe configurations that could offer enhanced stealth capabilities and aerodynamic performance. While specific details about China's sixth-generation fighter remain classified, the overall direction of their program indicates a focus on autonomous systems, advanced networking capabilities, and revolutionary airframe designs. As with their fifth-generation J-20, China's approach seems to blend inspiration from Western designs with their own innovative concepts, potentially leading to a unique and formidable next-generation fighter. Stealth Bombers B-2 Spirit and B-21 Raider The B-2 Spirit and the upcoming B-21 Raider represent the pinnacle of stealth bomber technology in the United States Air Force. While the B-2 has been an icon of American air power for decades, the B-21 is set to take its legacy into the future. The B-2 Spirit, with its distinctive flying wing design, revolutionized strategic bombing when it was introduced. Its ability to penetrate advanced air defenses while carrying a significant payload made it a game-changer in military operations. The B-21 Raider, while visually similar to the B-2, incorporates numerous advancements. It's designed to be smaller, with a wingspan 15 to 20 percent shorter than the B-2's 172 feet. This reduction in size is expected to enhance its stealth capabilities and potentially increase its range. Interestingly, the B-21 will have about half the payload capacity of the B-2, carrying around 30,000 pounds compared to the B-2's 60,000 pounds. However, this smaller payload allows for a thinner profile, further improving its stealth characteristics. The B-21 is being developed with modularity in mind, allowing it to easily integrate new weapons and technologies as they become available. This forward-thinking approach ensures the bomber will remain relevant for decades to come, adapting to emerging threats and capabilities. Both bombers showcase the evolution of stealth technology. The B-2's stealth features were groundbreaking at the time, but required intensive maintenance. The B-21 is expected to incorporate more durable and easier to maintain stealth coatings, learning from the B-2's operational experiences. As the B-2 prepares for eventual retirement, 
the B-21 Raider stands poised to carry on the legacy of long-range stealth bombing. Its development represents not just an upgrade in technology, but a reimagining of how strategic bombers can operate in increasingly contested airspaces of the future. China's H-20 Stealth Bomber China is preparing for the debut of its H-20 Stealth Bomber, a significant step in its military advancements. This bomber is designed for long-range missions, with a reported range of approximately 5,280 miles. This range is shorter than that of the United States B-2 Spirit, which can fly over 6,900 miles without needing to refuel. However, if China manages to enhance H-20's range, it could pose a substantial threat to key regions such as the Philippines, Japan, the South China Sea, and even Guam. The H-20 represents a critical part of China's strategy to bolster its air capabilities. Its development signifies China's commitment to advancing its military technology to compete on a global scale. The primary threat from the H-20 lies in its potential to conduct long-distance strikes, extending China's reach and influence. In addition to the H-20, China's advancements include developing other modern combat aircraft and drones, further closing the gap with United States air superiority. The introduction of the H-20 will not only enhance China's offensive capabilities, but also influence the strategic balance in the Asia-Pacific region. Combat Drones MQ-9 Reaper vs. Chinese CH-4 The United States MQ-9 Reaper and the Chinese CH-4 combat drones are prominent in modern warfare, each serving their respective air forces with distinct capabilities. The MQ-9 Reaper, developed by General Atomics, is a versatile and heavily armed drone. The Reaper's armament includes AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-ground missiles, GBU-12 Paveway-2 bombs, GBU-38 JDAMs, Brimstone missiles, and AIM-9X Block-2 air-to-air missiles. This wide array of weapons makes the MQ-9 effective in various combat scenarios. Its high operational ceiling further enhances its survivability against anti-aircraft guns. On the other hand, the Chinese CH-4, part of the Rainbow family, bears a striking resemblance to the Reaper, leading to accusations of technology copying. However, it has some differences, such as lacking the ventral fin below the V-tail. The CH-4 has a maximum takeoff weight of 2,900 pounds, and a payload capacity of 760 pounds, significantly lower than the Reaper. This payload is distributed between the internal UAV compartment and external mounts. The CH-4's lower operational ceiling makes it more vulnerable to anti-aircraft defenses, a limitation that China aims to address in future versions like the CH-5. In combat performance, the Reaper has proven its effectiveness in numerous operations, including the elimination of high-profile targets from groups such as the Quds Force and ISIS. In contrast, the CH-4 has primarily been used in search and rescue missions within China, indicating a less aggressive deployment history. Overall, while the CH-4 shows promise, the MQ-9 Reaper's superior payload, advanced weaponry, and proven combat record make it a more formidable combat drone in the current landscape. Capabilities and Limitations of MQ-9 Reaper and CH-4 The MQ-9 Reaper and the Chinese CH-4 share a similar design, but they have distinct capabilities and limitations. The MQ-9 Reaper, developed by General Atomics, is a formidable drone with a maximum takeoff weight of 10,494 pounds, significantly higher than the CH-4's 2,900 pounds. This weight capacity allows the Reaper to carry a larger payload, up to 3,800 pounds, compared to the CH-4's 760 pounds. The Reaper's payload can include a mix of AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, GBU-12 Paveway-2 bombs, and other munitions, making it a versatile platform for various missions. In contrast, the CH-4, despite its resemblance to the Reaper, falls short in several areas. Its limited maximum takeoff weight and payload capacity restrict its operational effectiveness. Additionally, the CH-4's lower service ceiling makes it more susceptible to anti-aircraft fire.
a significant disadvantage in hostile environments. Although future versions like the CH-5 aim to address some of these limitations, the current CH-4 models do not match the MQ-9's operational range and flexibility. One key advantage of the Reaper is its extensive combat experience. The United States Air Force has used the MQ-9 in various missions, including high-profile strikes against terrorist leaders and enemy combatants. This operational history has proven the Reaper's reliability and effectiveness in real-world scenarios. On the other hand, the CH-9 has primarily been utilized in search and rescue missions within China, with limited exposure to combat situations, raising questions about its combat readiness and performance. So, while the CH-4 offers a cost-effective option for surveillance and light combat, the MQ-9 Reaper remains superior in payload capacity, operational altitude, and combat-proven capabilities, making it a more robust and versatile choice for modern warfare. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.